Okay, on a job today I ran across these CES uh, profile cylinders. These are the uh, Euro cylinders. And um, I just want to talk about rekeying in here. This is an S this is SC1 keyway or slage is what this one is. And um, there's plenty of videos here on how to deal with these stupid white caps. Um, they're junk. But um, what I was going to talk about is how if you have a uh, standard slage key with the key code on this, if we can get it to uh, focus here. Uh, the key code is uh, it's 87648. So when you have your slaves chart here, you know, okay, so uh, there's 8, you know, it's supposed to be a 285 pin, you know, 7 is supposed to be, you know, a 270, you know, so on and so forth. But you'll notice if you actually put those pin sizes in the chambers on, on these, uh, these profile locks here, uh, the CES brand ones anyway, that the key is not going to work because the pin's too long. And the reason for that is the diameter of the, uh, the plug is actually smaller than a standard diameter. So uh, what you have to do is you have to actually subtract 20 from each pin. So if you've got a uh, number 8 pin, it's supposed to be a 285. So what you actually would do is you'd have to go into your pin tray here and you'd have to actually key it with actually uh, a uh, 265 is what you'd have to actually use for that for a slage eight pin, and then uh, you know our next our next cut on this particular key is a seven, which uh, seven is normally two seventy, so you would need to actually put a two fifty in there, and uh, so on and so forth. So you're basically just subtracting twenty off of whatever the pin is supposed to be to get the key to work, and then you go back to fighting with these stupid white caps on putting the cap back on. Um, and I just I, you know, I saw tons of videos on how to get these caps off and stuff, but nothing really talking about the conversion on the pin chart. Uh, so that's that's what it is here. You just take whatever the length is supposed to be on a normal size diameter plug and just subtract 20 from it and then uh, your key should work here. And a way to test that too, when you put the bottom pins in, you know, push them all the way down with a, you know, with a, uh, you know, pick or something, you know, just something just to push them all the way down with the key in and see if they turn before you put the top pins in. And if it does, it should be okay. And you can put your top pins in and your springs in and that stupid cap back on and um, the key should work. And I uh, hope that helps some people out so I can really find much about that particular aspect of rekeying these. And uh, that's, uh, that's all for now.